Zoology. Let's look at the skeleton of a bird. This is happens to be a pigeon, but all skeletons would be relatively uniform in the structures that we're going to look at. So obviously this is the skull here, and we can see that it has an eye ring, but you just need to know this bone as the skull. It does have a lower beak, a mandible. This bone here of the tongue is the hyoid. Uh, that's not on your list. But here we go. These are the cervical vertebrae, the neck. If we follow the cervical vertebrae down, they are going to connect to the thoracic vertebrae. And you'll notice that several of the thoracic vertebrae are fused. And if I'm going to just continue on with the vertebral column, the thoracic vertebrae continue on into, well, these, these vertebrae here fuse to, I'm going to tilt them up more, the pelvic bone. See how you can still see the vertebrae in there? And so this whole structure here, all of this is called the syncacrum. There are some caudal vertebrae. And unfortunately on this little guy, his very, the very last bone here, the uh, pterostyle is missing. Okay, so not on this particular specimen. I better go look at my other pigeon to see if it's on there. Okay, so let's go back now to the wing. And, oh, this is great. I don't have to change it. So we can see along the thoracic vertebrae that there's a bone here. And I see it on the other side here. This is the scapula. Okay, so let's stay on this wing because it's easier for you to see. Okay, so the scapula. Then going down the wing or the arm, this first bone, just like on you, is the humerus. The radius is here. And the ulna. From the ulna, we see that we're now, this part, this whole region here is the hand, right? So this whole last part is the hand, and I think I have to tilt him just like, oops, not just down there. Did I get it all? This whole part, all of this is the hand. We see one finger right there. So this bone here, these are called the carpometacarpus. And then they don't call them fingers, they call them phalanges. Okay, so birds do have phalanges. One here and one here. Okay, the phalange. Oops, like I can't see, sorry. Okay, a little bit tricky. A lot of fusion going on in birds. All right, so now let's look at the sternum. Let me kind of give them some support here. There we go. So we kind of got a different view. Okay, this shows better, a little bit better, because this one has the phalange that comes all the way down. And on this side, it's broken. Bird skeletons are so fragile. They have to be very lightweight in order for the animal to fly. But it makes hard use in a laboratory setting. Okay, so this bone here, the wishbone, right? That's the clavicle. Call it clavicle. You can call it the percula, but clavicle's fine too. Uh, from the clavicle we have behind it, do you see this bone here? That is the coracoid, and that's what attaches the pectoral girdle. Okay, here's the humerus. Okay, so maybe I'll turn it just slightly. There we go. Now you can see the coracoid and how it attaches to the sternum. The sternum is this whole big plate bone here on each side. That's the sternum, and it comes down into what they call a keel. See that? That's the keel right there. Muscle fits in there. All that is for muscle attachment, those flight muscles. We see on the bird that we do have ribs, okay, on each side. Uh, now let's look at the leg bones. Okay, so coming off this fused bone up here, remember that's the syncacrum, we have the femur. Then we have, let's see if I got to probably have to turn them just slightly so you can actually tell what it is. Whoop. See this little splinter of a bone right here? See how it looks like it's 
I might need to focus just a slightly. There it is. That little splinter is the fibula. And behind that, this part here, this whole bone, a fused bone called the tibiotarsus. Tibiotarsus. And so now if I turn them sideways and I kind of look at it, I might need to zoom out just a little bit, just to kind of get, we can get the whole leg in there. There we go, that's better. Okay, so sensacrum, fibia, tibiotarsus. Then from here down, okay, well, well these are the phalanges. These are the toes. And you see, so that's actually the ankle there. So sometimes when you look at birds, you're like, wow, their legs are bent backwards. It's, it, they don't look right. They don't have knees. They do have knees. This is their knee here. And it's just that their knees are usually covered up by feathers. The feathers really can come down almost all the way down to here. And so you don't notice the knee, but it's there. And then that's the ankle. So their knees don't bend backwards. That's their ankle and it bends just like yours. Okay. And so uh, we just go down and we call all those toes uh, phalanges. Okay, so that is everything that you need to know on the skeleton of a bird. There you go.